Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in Des Plaines, Illinois, just outside of Chicago in a transmission line corridor. We will be watching the use of laser rangefinders for vegetation management clearances. Our participating utility is Commonwealth Edison, and this video is sponsored by Laser Technology. And here is our vegetation management crew for today at their mandatory job site safety briefing. And as we see them sign for their participation in the meeting, I will turn it over to our senior vegetation management project manager, Mac, to describe today's tasks. Mm -hmm. When we get out to the transmission right away and we're getting ready to take measurements and see exactly what work is there, mm -hmm. we want to be able to identify where the wire zone is and where the border zone is. Okay. And as we look at the outermost conductor on both sides, Right. Those are that we actually take in accordance with the International Society of Boricultures best management practice for IVM. We actually go uh, from the conductor, we extend out 10 feet on either side. Okay. And we come straight down. And that's the area we call the wire zone. Now in the wire zone, our target is to be able to make sure that we don't have any vegetation that has the ability to exceed 10 foot in height at maturity. So we actually take the range finder and we look at the right of way and see where the closest vegetation appears to be. Then we go to that point where that vegetation is at and the uh, actual operator can either stand on the outside of the two locations and he can measure from the conductor to the vegetation and that gives him the opportunity to use the range finder and minimize changing his actual position. The important part in order to get an accurate measurement is to keep the range finder steady and go from point A to point B. So thank you, Mac, for that clear and rather well stated description of what we're watching here today. Now let's go into the right of way or corridor and watch the range finder measurements in action. And we're going to start here with a measurement of the distance between towers or structures. You hear that train in the background too. 449 is my distance on the 138. 138 between 4 and 600 feet. 25 feet. So we need 25 feet of clearance in here. So now that he knows the clearance he is measuring for. He can use a range finder. You see the tops of the vegetation, the line, and the tower all in this shot. 29 feet for the bottom wire. So since 29 feet is greater than the 25 feet required clearance of the tower zone, we can now walk down the corridor into what's called the wire zone and look for other areas of vegetation that need to be cleared out. That's wire zone. That's got to be removed. So here we see the use of the range finders to measure the distance between these two towers. This is a much longer span than what we've seen before, which you will announce momentarily. 740. And then once again, using the smartphone, we can look up the required clearances. 32 feet of clearance. And so now we have found a tree that we think is inside those clearances. 25. 25 here, so the sucker growth has to go rolling back. And so as our supervisor instructs a tree trimmer on trimming back that tree, let's go back to a description of the use of the range finder. This is your fire button. And what you're going to do is, for a good example, uh, I'll shoot the tower where the cross arm is. And you'll hold up, you'll find your spot, and you'll hit that fire button once. It'll say shot one, you'll hit the fire button, and then it'll say shot two. Without moving too awful much, you try to stay in the same spot, you find the same spot on the next tower, and you hit the fire button again for your second shot. That'll give you a number. And then with these buttons here on the side, you arrow down twice. It'll calculate your distance. I have a distance of 743 feet. There is a focus. This knob here, if you're having troubles, it'll focus it for you. Okay. So you come in and if you focus it right, it'll really show up good. 
you hit your fire button the first time, locate your bottom wire, fire a second time, bring it down, arrow down twice, and you have a distance. Now here's where we had to get a little creative. You see that number 26. This is the GoPro camera looking into the rangefinder. 26 is the distance reading in the rangefinder. And so now as we watch the confirmation measurement of the clearances post trimming, let's listen to one of the crew talk about the value of the rangefinders in this work. See, other than the chainsaw, believe it or not, as crazy as it sounds, this is probably one of the best tools we have. I mean, because for years, we just, it was a guessing game. You know, they need 32 feet of clearance. You're just kind of, all right, well, you know, just trim it until it looks good. And then they introduced the range finders, and it was, it, it, it not only saved a lot of guessing work, but it, 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 it was nice. And now let's go back to Mac for a good wrap up. The final uh, work has all been completed. The only thing left is the uh, mower is going to come back in and mow the cut vegetation now that it's been removed from the trees. So at this point is where I verify the work that's been done is in accordance with the expected procedures and the clearances are there. The expected clearance here should be 32 feet, but I've actually got 36 feet 6 inches at that location. And that's the very bottommost location on the tree that was cut. And with that, you have now seen our TND How video on the use of laser rangefinders for vegetation management clearance measurement. Our participating utility was Commonwealth Edison. This video was sponsored by Laser Technology. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you, as always, for watching.